We are moving right along and today I have another update on our cottage. Hey there, my name is Yami. I am your Latina next door. Welcome back to Mi Casa. Today I'm sharing with you all the progress of another project. This time we are going to the living space and we're going to be talking about my feature wall that's supposed to have built-ins and a fireplace. Now for this particular situation, we were running out of time and we still had a lot of work to do. So much like the porch projects that I shared with you all previously, both the front and the back, we decided to go ahead and try to see if we can outsource this project as well. We were again very lucky to be able to come across another gentleman, one who does custom interior woodwork. I happened to find him online in one of our local Facebook groups. I found a post from a lady who was praising his work, his craftsmanship, and his fairness. And I thought, okay, maybe we should give him a call. So I shared the contact information with Nelson. Nelson gave him a call and he was out here in a couple of days to take a look at what we wanted, what I had in mind, and he was up for the job. And boy, are we so grateful that we did. This was another project that went very smoothly. It helped us so much. It really saved Nelson a lot of time and hassle. And, you know, we even got to learn a little bit from the gentleman as well as we watched him build this stuff. It was just nice to be able to see an actual carpenter do something interior and kind of how he did it. We are very happy with how this part turned out. I had initially had something different in mind, but because of the pitch of the ceiling and my original plans did not end up being what was gonna be ideal for the space. But that's okay because I reworked everything and I absolutely love how it turned out. So let's see what we came up with. All right, so this is the wall that I'm referring to as my feature wall. And when you're looking at the cottage from the front, it's this wall that you see right here to the left. Originally, I had wanted this type of color scheme. Now, I have been wanting some arched bookcases for a while now, and I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to do so in my little cottage. However, when I did a mock-up of how they would look like in the space, I found something immediately. See, with an arch top and the roof line, it wasn't going to work because I'm going to have an arched that's round and it's going to stop and then I'm going to have a triangle right above it because the fireplace is going to go all the way up to the ceiling. So I was going to have like a half moon, a triangle on both sides and it was just going to be a little bit too much visually. So I changed things up a little bit and honestly I think this is the route. I definitely needed to go because when I place it in front you can see here that there won't be any conflicting shapes it's just gonna be straight lines and then I'll still have the triangles above however it won't be as bad because it's just simple lines no arches competing with straight angles so this is what I ultimately came up with we started off by getting some cabinets that were already ready to go and all we needed to do was assemble them and we really like these because they're really easy to put together and they're already painted we didn't have to worry about it and we just went with a simple white color Nelson put these up on either side We use two 24 by 30 upper cabinets on either side. This gave us a total length on each side of 48 inches. And Nelson set them up on two by fours to raise them a little bit. And then he leveled them out, added shims and connected them together and to the wall. And if you notice, he even cut out an outlet that was already in the wall. We knew we wanted outlets inside of these cabinets for any kind of electronics or any kind of lighting that we wanted to add so we went ahead and did that and had it prepared when he put these cabinets up mm -hmm. 
After that, we needed to create a topper or kind of like a little countertop for the top of those cabinets. And we decided to just go with some pine board that Nelson actually cut in half and then used a Craig jig in order to put them together to create a larger top. Now going this route saved us a little bit of money because we weren't investing in any thick countertop type wood. And honestly, it was totally fine with us because it tied in our tongue and groove pine ceiling and added that just, you know, cottage feel that was a little bit more rustic. And it was really easy to put these together. Nelson did this really quickly and we're kind of glad that we just took this route and found the solution. Once they were put together, Nelson went over them with our sander just so that he can get the transition between both boards as smooth as possible so where you don't even really notice that it's there. Now, we had originally thought that we would stain these, but the stain that I had picked out, honestly, it just wasn't working. And also, I didn't want to kind of whitewash it either. I wanted to do something kind of in between. And then I realized that I had some paint in our shed from a project that we hadn't been able to finish. And I thought, why don't I just use this beautiful gray that I have and just paint it? And we kind of both like the solution as well. Nothing makes you make quick decisions like this and be okay with them and not second guess yourself than a baby that's due. <laughs> and we've been lucky so far. Every single little compromise where we've had to be like, you know what, we're just going to go with it has actually worked out. And this is just one of them. Plus the gentleman that was going to come in and finish the built ins was due to come in the following day and we just had to get it done. So there was no excuses. We made the decision and we went through with it. Next was install day and I couldn't be any happier with how these turned out. The gentleman builds these in his workshop and then he brings these out and installs them. And it's just so nice to see how everything goes in like it should. Of course, this was just the beginning because then we needed to get to the fireplace, which I actually was there with him all day long and we were kind of going back and forth, making sure that the measurements and everything looked good. I had shown him the idea that we were going for and we're doing a wood stove, which requires a much larger opening. If you notice here, I was using these inspiration images on Pinterest because we're using a real wood stove we need to make sure that there's enough clearance behind and on either side for the heat to not actually, you know, damage the surroundings. So the opening was supposed to be very specific and Nelson and I were there with him the entire time, kind of making sure that we had enough clearance for the size stove that we had. It took us a little while to make sure we had everything perfect, but he worked with us and he began building the fireplace surround starting from the bottom and working his way up. We were very lucky that he was patient with us since this was the first time that we built something like this from absolute scratch. And this wasn't just a regular fireplace that, you know, you just have an electric insert. This was a big deal to us because this was an actual wood stove. So we kept, you know, remeasuring, measuring, and also making sure that there was the support that we needed for the TV that Nelson wants to install above the mantle. Now for the space above the mantle, on the fireplace, we decided to go ahead and go with the same paneling that we had used on the walls. We thought it would, you know, tie everything in nicely. Plus we had the panels available and they're very easy to install. So we didn't want to overcomplicate things with adding something different here. We just went with the same panels.
He also finished off both areas above the shelves with the same shiplap paneling that we used on the fireplace. The last thing he did on this wall was button up all the seams. And he used the same trim pieces that Nelson used for the ceiling to wall transition all along the fireplace. Wherever he had the paneling touch up against the ceiling, he too included that same trim and he made sure that everything was nice and sealed. So yeah, this is what my feature wall looks like. And we still have a little bit to do. We have to caulk all the seams. We have to paint all of the shiplap. We have to add the brick. We have to install the fireplace, but a lot of it has been taken care of so far. And I am so excited with what the future holds and how this space is gonna turn out in the end. And Nelson and I are just excited that we were able to get this completed in the time and with the help of this gentleman who came and did a lot of the work for us and was, again, very patient with us. And he got me exactly what we needed. All right. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And if you guys are excited as I am. We still have some work to do. Obviously, we have to do the brickwork inside of the fireplace. We also have to insert the fireplace. Nelson's really excited about that because he's always wanted a wood stove. And we're going to get our practice here because that's something that he also wants to incorporate in our big farmhouse. So at least we get to experience it here and just kind of get our feet wet or dry <laughs> with using this wood fireplace. We need to add a mantle and it's probably going to be similar to the one that we had in our last house, which I totally loved. The good thing is, is that the wall is covered. It's starting to look like an actual little cottage. And I just, I'm so excited to see it all come together from absolutely nothing. You know, it's amazing sometimes what we can really do in certain situations. I mean, this space was completely empty. All this was thought up from scratch. We've had to make a couple of adjustments here and there, but it's all actually coming together. And it's a beautiful thing to see it actually realize itself from an image that you might have in your head to seeing it right in front of you. And I'm so very grateful that we were able to find somebody to help us out who knew a little bit more <laughs> about building things like this and preparing us for what's going to be ahead when we do the big build. So I'm excited about this. I hope you are too. I hope you're enjoying the process and kind of seeing everything together. And I can't wait to share once it's completed. I think it's just going to look so charming. So let me know what y'all think. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, adios.